Could this be the military's new medium helicopter? It's Leonardo's AW149, and it's in the running to replace the Puma, which entered service in 1971. It is a multi-role um, support helicopter, well, multi-role multi helicopter. Um, we're pitching it to replace the Pumas, the Puma Mark IIs. So fundamentally for that support helicopter role, but the aircraft, as you can see here, uh, can be armed. So it can do a variety of missions from uh, combat search and rescue, special forces, uh, as well as a battlefield support helicopter. Poland has just signed a deal for 32 AW149s. It's part of the country's move to modernize its armed forces in the face of events in Ukraine. They'll be delivered between 2023 and 2029. It's got really nice handling qualities. Uh, it's got a lot of power. So when I'm flying tactically low level, nap of the earth, um, sort of terrain masking, avoiding threats, uh, I'm able to very accurately and predictably uh, determine the flight path of the aircraft uh, and put it safely and aggressively where I need it to be. Um, it also, if I'm putting it on the back of a ship, landing on a mountain top, again, that precise control response coupled with the power uh, makes that task for me relatively easy. This latest generation helicopter is designed to operate in the harshest of environments. The aircraft itself, as I say, can be fitted with armament. We've got rockets here, so we've fired um, guided, unguided, laser-guided rockets from this. Um, missiles the aircraft can have, uh, and cruiser weapons, so machine guns from the windows as well. Defensive aid suites, it can be fitted with whatever defensive aid suite the customer might want. Uh, and also electro-optical device on this, uh, this aircraft has a as a full forward-looking infrared system underneath, both for targeting uh, and for general reconnaissance of the battlefield. Uh, Radar-wise, it could have a uh, weather radar in the front. This particular aircraft has a Gabbiano Leonardo product tactical radar. So again, if you're wanting tactical radar uh, information for targeting, uh, the aircraft has that as well. And as I say, all of this is designed to be integrated well uh, to provide the best of the flow of information to the crew uh, and also into the wider force. The Puma currently has an out-of-date service of early 2025. Whichever aircraft the MAD chooses to replace it will need to be in place by that date. Leonardo has some stiff competition from others, including Boeing and Airbus. Claire Sadler, Forces News. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.